So I feel the need to preface the video with the fact that I'm not trying to brag about money or anything at all, and I know it's a privilege to be able to do the things I have and want to do. I'm very grateful for the life I can live and complaining about it constantly doesn't really help my argument, but I just need to take a breather every now and again to get things off my chest, and somehow my channel became the outlet for it, so I don't burden my friends and family too much about it. But anyways, there's a question you get asked from the start of elementary and it evolved over time to haunt me for years all the way up until this present moment, and that question is, what do you want to be when you grow up? Followed by, what do you want to do when you're older? What do you want to major in? What are you going to do after this? Whenever I'm asked these questions or anything about my distant future, I break into a cold sweat and my heart pounds like crazy. And the reason is because I don't know. It's difficult for me to differentiate between passions and hobbies. That's what I really wanted to talk about. I'm just taking things day by day until I know what I want for my future. But hobbies, I have way too many and none of them stick. Once I see something that seems interesting to me, I'll become obsessed, and you'll end up with a storage full of plushies. But hobby-wise, so much that I'll drive into the world 110%. For example, one of these obsessions was art, an obsession that turned into me getting my associate's degree in studio arts, and then switching majors in university. But I love art, and still do, but if I had to go back and calculate everything, I've spent hundreds of dollars in good quality supplies when I'm only a beginner. And I'm not even that good at art. I mean, have you seen how I illustrate my videos? But even still, I can't help it but give it my all. I even tried different mediums to see what I'm good at, which obviously costed loads of money. When I was only mediocre at acrylic painting, I tried things like watercolor, inks, oil and soft pastels, Posca paint pens, and there's so many more attempted passions that I've spent too much money on that ended up being only hobbies. I mentioned in my New Year's videos that I wanted to start a small business. Why? Because I got obsessed with stickers and sticker small businesses. I loved watching studio vlogs and seeing illustrators and artists make stickers for their artwork. After deep diving, I learned how to make your own stickers without a Cricut machine. After overthinking the process for months, I bit the bullet and bought all the supplies for my small business. I got packaging things, supplies for making small clay pins and stickers, storage for said products, I even bought business cards. Just to find out, I really had limited time to work on stuff and scrapped the business for the time being. It literally hurts my heart to know all those materials just staying in storage. It just sucks too because I have that thing where you never feel productive if your schedule isn't jam-packed with things to do. And because of it, I move on to the next hobby at full speed. When I felt bad about not uploading frequently on my channel, I started thinking about ideas of what to fill space with while I was drawing my videos. At that time, I was watching a lot of offline TV and their friends and individual channels. And that led me into gaming. Oh gosh, this was probably the most expensive hobby I picked up. I mean, I bought an entire gaming setup to just get this hobby started. Good thing the game I was obsessed with was Genshin Impact, which is free to play. You know, until you fall into the hole of their gotcha system. But buying capture cards to record my Switch games and stuff was very short-lived. You don't know this because I never uploaded those videos. I wanted to play more games on my channel. I don't know why I didn't just upload them. But I ended up scrapping those videos because the whole it doesn't fit your niche thing kind of stressed me out. Also, because I was working a lot, I didn't have a ton of time to commit to my games. So that slowly got lost. But I still use my PC on almost an everyday basis. So we don't have to worry about that money being wasted. And I didn't go too crazy either. I really wanted to theme my setup and make it all cute and cozy. But when I stopped making time to play, my desire to theme my setup simmered down too. The last major hobby I wanted to talk about is something that I still do but only on occasion now, and that's scrapbooking. I've mentioned several times I'm a sentimental person, so keeping scrapbooks to look back on make my heart so happy. When I first got interested in scrapbooking, it was not a surprise I wanted to go all out. I bought scrapbooking paper and stickers to use, I even bought a Polaroid printer so I can print photos from my phone 
getting onto Polaroids. At the time, I low-key wanted to make TikToks of my scrapbooks of random things. I saw a lot of bullet journaling videos and ASMR journaling, and I really wanted to do my own. So I made a TikTok for that purpose and didn't really keep up with it because I didn't realize TikTok had an algorithm that like mostly daily content since most of it stuff on there was short form. But I do still post some scrapbook videos when I go to concerts because I have a concert scrapbook. But I'll stop there for now because I feel like I'm just rambling now with no point. I think I'll make a separate video someday talking about all the phases I've been through, not just hobbies but other random things things I got over obsessed with. Something similar to my plushie obsession video, but all compiled into one. Why do I get bored of things so easily? Like it takes me so long to actually start a hobby because I'm too busy preparing for it. And then once I start it, I get bored quickly and move on to the next thing. It's like my brain won't let me take the time to actually practice and master my hobbies. It's like, you're not perfect at it in the first couple tries, you're not worthy to keep this up full time. But ending this more positively, at least I can say I'm mediocre at a lot of things. Let's just say a jack of all trades, but a master at none, right?